Hello friend, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Susie and I teach hand lettering to creatives who want to have beautiful hand lettering. But in this video, I wanna share something else with you. And that's what you can actually do with your hand lettering. I mean, we've practiced so long to perfect those upstrokes and downstrokes, but what's next? In this video, I'm going to share several practical ways to use your hand lettering to create beauty all over the place. In fact, just recently, my kids finished their last official school day for the year. I'm a homeschool mom, so that means that it's kind of up to me to plan all the celebrations. And I wanted to start our day out with a fun breakfast and some goodies to kick off summer. I recently moved my YouTube art studio out of my house, which I will tell you all about in a future video that I'm working on. So when I went to make the sign for our goodie basket, I realized that I didn't have fancy pens or markers at my house. I'd taken them all to the studio. So early that morning, I cut a little bit off of a scrap piece of a watercolor paper I found and used a black Sharpie to make a fun sign. To me, it's the little things that make things so special and I love celebrating even the little things. And so having a skill that allows me to add beautiful little touches to even the simplest of things is so valuable. Another practical way that I like to use hand lettering is creative journaling. I have a couple of bullet journals that I use and I also like to do some very basic Bible journaling. I don't do a lot of really complex things when it comes to journaling, but that's the fun of hand lettering. I don't really think you have to. Hand lettering is beautiful on its own, and even a simple monoline cursive hand lettering can really look beautiful. And it can help you to focus on the words that you want to remember or that maybe stand out to you, and you don't have to do anything super fancy. In fact, when I first really started getting into hand lettering and calligraphy, that was one of the things that I really used it for. I like to create um, hand lettering pieces of scriptures that I wanted to remember, and I even had this little wall in one of the rooms in my house where I would print them off and hang them up with washi tape. And I found this really old picture of that wall, and it was just a reminder that the reason I really got into hand lettering was not necessarily all about the art of hand lettering, but it was about the words too and creating art that really mattered. One of my very favorite ways to use hand lettering is to personalize gift wrap or gift packages. Um, I just love gift giving. I love making up gift baskets, even if it's just the tiniest little gift. I love to kind of just let people know that I'm thinking about them and that they are cared for. And so I think that adding a personal touch to your gift wrap is just so fun and such a part of the reason why I really wanted to learn how to hand letter. These are just a couple of ideas of some super simple ways to add personalization to your gift wrap or to your gift tags. None of them are fancy. You don't even need a brush pen. You could use just a regular marker. I have even done this with painting flowers and it's just one of those things that I love the end result so much that it doesn't feel homemade. It feels like something so unique and beautiful that I'd rather purchase this than something that I could buy at the store. So the fact that I got to make it myself super inexpensively is just an extra bonus. And another way that you can use your hand lettering in a practical way is creating really nicely addressed envelopes. Now I'll be honest, this is not one that I do a lot because I am not great at getting cards out in the mail on time. I love making a gift basket, but when it comes to getting things sent in the mail, I have a little bit of a struggle. But I know that a lot of people do get into hand lettering because they want to address envelopes specifically like wedding invitations or even Christmas cards. See, here's the thing about hand lettering. I have realized that I think many of us just really like being creative. Whether that's sewing or painting or scrapbooking, card making, whatever that might be, we just want a creative outlet. And I think that for some of us, hand lettering has been the hobby that's kind of stuck with us. And I think there are two super specific reasons why. And one of the reasons I think that it sticks for many of us is because it's useful. I don't know how many times my hand lettering has come in super handy when I'm wanting to make a quick sign or to fancy up a gift basket or simply to organize my house and not have to get out my fancy vinyl cutter in order to make it pretty. I just need a Sharpie and a piece of washi tape and I'm good. Sometimes when I get those little plastic shoebox size containers to organize, I actually just use a paint pen right on the outside of the box and that looks really nice and it was super simple. So I hope that this video inspired you to use your creativity to tell your story and to make your words beautiful. If you want to learn more about hand lettering, I have a completely free seven day hand lettering course that you can join in the link below. I also sell printable hand lettering worksheets to help you practice your hand lettering. 
and these worksheets are hand drawn by me in my lettering styles, I think tracing can be so helpful for getting the hang of a new style. So if you're looking to learn a style similar to mine, I will link a few of the shop favorites below as well as a discount code for you. Thank you so much for watching. I release a new video every Friday, so make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in my next one.